Welcome back to Let's Play Mad Max. I'm Burning Dogface, and we are here at Pink Eyes. I'm gonna get in here before people keep yapping at me. Shout out to Eri Zoko. I left a comment saying, You remember our child? So innocent. I had a feeling. Yeah, when the voice gets accented more than hopes, it's Jesse's. Well, that was incredible. Good God. Oh yeah, as I was saying, uh, shout out to Eri Zoko, who left a comment saying, I can't believe we literally saw a car descend from the heavens in a blaze of fire, and Chum Bucket wasn't around to see it. This is like Moses missing the burning bush because he was sick that day. Hasn't he been through enough? And you know, you kind of got a point. <laughs> The man just learned that, uh, the saint, the holy driver sent to him by the angel Combustion, plans to leave his ass behind and take the magnum opus, Chum's lifelong dream, and just fuck off into the wasteland with it. Then he immediately got beaten around by Scrutus and Stankgum until he confessed to the existence slash location of uh, hope and glory, making him uh, at least indirectly responsible for their deaths. Am I going the right way still? Not quite. Up here. I started a pink eyes because I like that there's a uh, convoy path right here. Is this? No, that's not it. It's up here. Oh, or we could go down here, you know, whatever. That's better. Yes, love. He is truly in hell. I don't care about you guys. Oh, come on. Oh, I really, really wanted him to blow up his friend there. Oh, fuck. Come on, Chum, work your magic. I was kind of hoping he would blow up when he fell down there, because that kind of thing tends to happen. Too steep, I can't hit him from this angle. find them ourselves. Time's a-wasting, time's a-wasting. You want something done right, you do it yourself. Hi! Up yours! Yeah, better turn that up a bit. And since we're driving straight, let's turn down the ramming. Ah! Oh, he didn't like that at all. Your flamethrower can suck my ass. I 
can't hit that. You can, however, hit that. Who put go? Damn it, can't stop. And not the can't stop, won't stop kind either. Damn, that was quick. So Max does know how to fix a car. He's just inefficient enough that he needs extra bits to do it, I guess, is what they're trying to say with that. Like, you know, he picked up a few things working as a cop in the, in the driving job, but, uh... He was a police interceptor. Hence the word interceptor originally written on the back of the black on black. Did it say black on the black? Never mind, you know what I meant, on the back of the car. Oh god! I don't think you're supposed to mainly use the boost to reverse your own uh, momentum. But it works for me. Except when I'm wandering off with a moron. I had the other one equipped. My bad. I only had one day left until retirement. But to be fair, in the War Boys, retirement means you get eaten alive, so, you know. That was obviously a joke, but I wonder if anyone in the War Boys has ever lived long enough to uh, retire. Get too old for. Uh... Ooh! I thought I had the other one on. In fact, I could have sworn I just looked down to check. Maybe I pushed the button by accident. Come to think of it, the War Boys have this whole uh, sacrificial thing, you know, witness me and all that. Hi! Die! In for the kill! Oh, hello. Oh, she's I'll cure her. You're dead! No gas can. What do we have here? A tricycle. Great. Right, dead cor uh, dead body. So let's do like a living corpse, I was starting to say. There we go. Isn't it better now that you're no longer alive? Huh, that's not better. I'm gonna have to ram this guy off of the thing. Oh, that reminds me. Before we get going... I think it's time for the, uh, the Grief Beard tour to come to an end. Saints Row 1. Basically a shamelessly transparent ripoff of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. I mention it because oop. this could work. Come. 
those rat skull those are rat skulls or like bird skulls or something uh bike powered by little legs from another time this wheel will rain terror in the minds of the lesser equipped really top speed boost so that's nice The yeah, the reason I bring up Saints Row One is that I am reminded of a thing. Nice. Uh, every article of clothing in that game had a uh, respect rating on it. You know, so if you wear these clothes, you'll be more respectful as a street criminal. The secret went far and joined together with the And this could be all kinds of things. It could be like the more expensive it is, the more respectful it is. But also, if you get the same item in purple, it's more respectful than if you got it in green because it's, uh, purple is your gang color in that game. And respect is actually a mechanic, because, uh, whenever you do basically anything, you get respect points for it, and you use these respect points to buy your way, your way into missions. Like, you need so many respect to start this, uh, story mission. Huh. Says this is a searching area, but yeah, three scrap somewhere over here, I guess. It's a very specific region. Oh, it's downstairs. Okay. I mean, since I'm standing here, I might as well. Killed those guys in the opposite order, then I'd still have the maximum number of shivs. Almost at him. <laughs> Bitch, do I look like a henchman to you? Now, it's one of those things where you very quickly earn enough respect that you will almost never have to worry about it. But, uh, every time you equip a respectful item, it increases the multiplier of respect you earn from doing side missions and shit. You know, you play a bunch of mini-games in order to earn more respect, in order to take on more story missions. But, um... Where's any of this wandering, rambling explanation going? There's an outfit you unlock for doing, uh, I think, completing all of the, uh, the pimping missions, because it's a very classy game. It's literally just an old-school pimp outfit. You, uh, you know, the long coat, the big wide-brimmed hat, kind of looks like a bathrobe. And it's, oh, this is a separate entrance. These are the roadkill, so I guess they captured this car and are breaking it down for parts. Huh. Can't squeeze through there, even though you can squeeze through tighter locations if they're scripted to. It's just that... When I was playing Saints Row back in the day... I thought the logical thing to do 
would be to cover myself in the most respect-earning uh, clothes possible, which was that ridiculous pimp outfit, and, like, covered in platinum jewelry. And when I say covered, I mean the guy had, like, six facial piercings. Uh, well, six head piercings. Uh, that includes the, uh... Sort of looking around for camps. I thought there was one more transfer camp. There it is. Where is close to this? Fuck. So my guy looked absolutely ridiculous, is what I'm telling you. It was totally ludicrous. And then I'm playing this game, and I look at my guy in a cutscene, and I think... This is silly. I may be gaining the maximum, you know, possible amount of uh, respect every time I earn it. You know, the benefits are uh, kind of outweighed by how stupid I look. So I change it to something much more reasonable. Oh, I rolled a uh, two on that attack run. Fine, I'll just charboil everyone. There, that's better. Oh, pinatas. No time. Now to confuse everyone further. Look, all three of them dropped stuff. Someone's gonna come along and find these three guys just roasted alive, and there's this completely immaculate truck sitting next to it. It's this. I don't think this looks bad. I don't even, you know, I don't think it looks a quarter as ridiculous as that pimp outfit with all the facial piercings. But I think I might try going back to just the leather jacket, so that I feel more like Mad Max. I might regret that, it literally has half the armor of the final level there. Bike. I wonder why these are still images you can't rotate. Maybe they're not rendered from the back. That's also why I didn't put the bandana back on, by the way. After getting rid of the grief, uh, while I was getting rid of the grief beard. Hey, wrong one. Even Rip. We call it the Death Run. Sand dunes over the horizon, unnecessary comma, is where the racing is the most enticing. You gotta keep your balance to keep ahead, because if you don't, you're gonna be dead. That's pretty good, actually. Big falling rocks will mess up your ride and even rip and tear your hide. Across the hill and into the valley, follow the power lines and don't dally. Uh, there. I fear no terrain.
much accomplished in this episode as I would hope. Oopsie! Okay, let me take a look. Hmm. Either nobody here, either no intel here, or I haven't discovered it yet, but it's five skulls, so I might do a loop. You. That's a rocket. Fuck me, where are they even coming from? What am I doing? Oh, I can do- yeah, okay, there we go. Now you're inside, and you're safe, and I duck. Oh, I guess you're nothing, then. Oh boy. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Mad Max when we, uh, head into that camp. And blow up more, uh, more of Scrotus's prized oil on its way to wherever the fuck he wants it to be. And we don't wander over there, because I've just noticed I'm sitting next to a minefield. Ooh. Later.